Okay, so can you see my slide? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, so um, uh, as usual lah, eh, okay, before we continue with our lesson today, basically today uh, kita only able manage to maybe masuk pada 2.4, even last week pun kita dah masuk sikit 2.4, so hari ni lebih pada solving problems eh, uh, menggunakan uh, equation lah KC and QC and ice table. Okay, cuba nak recap balik what you have learned yes, uh, yes, di, uh, last week, okay. Okay, you have learned what's the difference between K and Q, okay. So K, basically K, kalau you nak kira KC ke KP, they are at equilibrium. But for Q, actually that one is not equilibrium. But actually you can calculate Q and they boleh reach equilibrium, okay. So I think sekejap eh. Saya kena pergi kat sini, ha. So, this Q, dia boleh ada sama ada tiga lah when Q is equal to K. So, bila you kira Q, dia sama value dengan K, maknanya kita tahu dia memang at equilibrium. And then when you calculate Q, uh, it's less than K or maybe let's say you tak tengok value, you tak ada value K tapi uh, kalau you dapat value of Q is equal to zero, meaning that uh, dia akan moving forward direction. Okay, forward direction ataupun shift to the right. Maksudnya ni equation kan? Ha, dia akan shift ke arah B. Okay. However, kalau Q you more than K or Q is equals to infinity, you akan shift to the left. Okay. Maknanya dia akan lebih nak hasilkan A instead of B. Okay. Ni kenapa saya pergi balik kat sini, you akan pergi balik, uh, you akan apply. Before this maybe you belajar je kan? Uh, okay. Q less than K, more than K. After this you akan apply benda dekat dalam ice table. Okay, lepas tu you belajar Ada ada a few equation kan, let's say you have ada tiga kan Let's say you have reverse equation, apa yang you kena buat apa uh, Value of k dia akan jadi reciprocal kan Ataupun kalau you punya coefficient you, equation tu you ada coefficient, you darab coefficient So you punya q or k pun akan jadi uh, to the uh, raise to the power of uh, that value of uh, coefficient lah ataupun kalau satu lagi apa hasil tambah dua equation kan uh, dia punya k is equals to multiplication of the value k1 and k2 so benda ni semua sama juga untuk q okay so hari ni kita akan proceed pada 2.4 where saya, saya dah pernah explain sikit last week okay on the i stable ingat lagi tak i c e i stable i stands for initial concentration okay c stands for change of concentration e stands for equilibrium of concentration i c e i okay so apa yang kita nak belajar kat sini basically uh, macam saya cakaplah solving problems eh so Mungkin sebelum-sebelum ni contoh dia macam it's very straightforward where kita tahu memang kita nak dapatkan value of KC KC tu mesti at uh, equilibrium kan. So dia akan uh, bagilah concentration tu at equilibrium. But somehow bila kita buat reaction of course kita akan start daripada sebelum dia reach equilibrium, betul tak? So maksudnya you akan start dengan you ada satu biasanya uh, sebab biasanya benda ni gas lah kan? So you akan melibatkan gas for example you masukkan uh, reactants dalam tu. So you masukkan reactants sometimes you tak masukkan lagi produk, betul tak? Maksudnya you nak jadikan dia ada reaction kat situ barulah dia produce produk. So at that time barulah akan ada uh, barulah dia nak reach that equilibrium. Kenapa dia tertukar sendiri? Okay so dia barulah dia nak reach equilibrium. So kat situ maknanya um, akan boleh ada um, apa kita panggil lah uh, some uh, problem saya nak kena solve kan. Maksudnya kalau you di, diberi initial tapi you nak cari equilibrium. So macam mana you nak cari kan? So that's why kat sini kita akan gunakan ice table. Okay so 
Saya teruslah pergi balik ya. Kita recap balik you apa yang saya dah explain last week. For example here. Okay dia bagilah uh, satu condition kat sini. Okay at a certain temperature a mixture of H2 and I2 was prepared by placing 0.2 mol of H2, 0.2 mol of I2. So H2 apa? Rectan, I2 pun rectan. Into a flask. So ada tak ada cerita pasal HI kat sini? Tak ada kan? Okay. So that's why nak bagi nampak saya draw lah eh. Let's say you ada flask kat situ, dia punya volume dia terliter. You masukkan hydrogen and also iodine. Ini initial eh. Initial condition maksudnya awal-awal. So HI tak ada lagi. So you masukkan pun mol. So dia kata after a period of time the equilibrium was established. Equilibrium maksudnya dia akan produce HI tapi dalam masa yang sama HI ni pun boleh patah balik ke ke arah rectan lah. Okay. At equilibrium the iodine here iodine concentration had dropped to 0.02 mol. Perkataan ini sangat penting. Dia kata at equilibrium maksudnya selepas bukan dekat sini eh bukan dekat initial. Selepas dia dah reach equilibrium. Okay. Barulah dia drop kepada 0.02. And this one is for I2 saja. Determine the value of Kc. Ah, so macam mana nak cari kan? So to solve this problem. That's why we will construct a table. So table tu lah kita panggil I stable. Okay. So normally, of course, kita akan start dulu dengan expression. So kita tahu Kc is always product of a return. So yang ni you dah belajar sebelum ni kan. So product of a return. So you akan buat lah ni product uh, ni kuasa dua sebab koefisien dia dua kan. Kuasa dua over return. Okay. So first thing first selalunya saya akan pasal kat student buat dulu Q. In this case QC lah. Untuk apa? Untuk dapatkan direction kan. Q untuk dapatkan direction. Ni direction apa pula kita nak tengok kat sini. Kalau dalam ice table. Dekat change. Change tu, C tu, sangat penting. Direction dia untuk you tengok sama ada dia negative ataupun positive sign. Negative ataupun dia positif. Itu uh, uh, is determined by QC or QP. Uh, depends lah. Kalau dia pressure, QP lah. Okay. How to calculate QC? Okay. Again. Sama je kan? Betul tak? Sama je dia punya expression. So QC is also equals to product over return. Product over return. Sama lah macam yang belah sini kan? Sama. Cuma value dia kita nak ambil yang mana? Kalau QC kita ambil value dekat equilibrium. How about QC? QC we will take the value at initial concentration. In this case lah. Okay. So you akan ambil value yang mana? Yang ini. So product over return. This is the value of product right? Zero. So, zero to the power of two. Kuasa kosong, kuasa kosong pula, kuasa dua. Bahagi dengan 0.1 darab 0.1. Anything kan, zero. So that's why you akan dapat value dia zero. So that's why kat sini QC is equal to zero. So, how to know that this uh, will proceed to the right? Ah Tadi kan saya baru repeat balik. Lepas tu lah supaya saya cakap awak kena Ingat balik this part eh. Kalau Q tu less than K, now kita tak ada value of K tu tak? Dia tak bagi itu yang kita nak cari. But dia ada kata juga kalau Q tu amount return tu lebih pada product or Q is equal to zero. Return lebih pada product ataupun Q equal to zero eh. Patah balik tadi. Betul tak amount return tu lebih daripada produk? Produk kosong kan? Betul lah. And then bila you kira pun is equals to zero. Betul tak? Kosong kosong dua bahagi dengan kosong poin satu kosong dua. Zero. So of course dia memang akan proceed to the right. So apa maksud proceed to the right ni? Maksudnya dia akan proceed untuk produce produk. Okay, sebab apa? You, that's why you have to imagine dalam flask tu, you masukkan rectum saja. Macam mana dia nak reach equilibrium kalau produk tu kosong? Betul tak? That's why dia kena hasilkan produk tu dulu. Lepas tu barulah dia nak balance kan. Remember, always remember equilibrium tu you imagine macam balance kan. Dia mesti sama. Sama apa? Rate sebenarnya yang sama tu rate. Rate forward is equal to rate reverse. Okay so that's why initially kalau dah memang produk you kosong. That's why you kena naikkan produk tu dulu barulah you boleh reach equilibrium. 
Okay, so in this case, that's why dia akan consume dekat bahagian rectum. You belajar, okay, graph kalau rectum kat sini in this case, dia akan consume. Kalau product, dia akan increase. Okay, lepas tu benda ni, eh, keram pula eh, ni ha. Tadi apa? Rectum decrease, so product akan increase. And then sampai satu tahap dia akan constant. Ha, kat situ dia dah reach equilibrium lah kan. Dia dah reach equilibrium. So in this case, uh, rectum tu akan consume. Bila consume, that's why dekat change ni, negative value dekat rectum. Positive value dekat product. Okay. Dia ada tau. Dia ada case yang dia akan jadi terbalik eh. Maksudnya negatif dekat produk, positif dekat return. Nanti you akan nampak. Nanti ada contoh. Saya tunjuk. Okay. So that's why dia bukan macam semua reaction tu negatif dekat return. Tak semestinya eh. Kalau dia reverse reaction memang produk awak tu yang negatif. Sebab produk tu yang akan consume untuk hasilkan lebih banyak return. Ha, itu maksud dia. Okay. That's why Q is very important. So at equilibrium pula. Apa benda kita nak letak, okay. <coughs> so, you just tolak kat sini lah 0.1 minus X. So, you akan dapat 0.1 minus X. Yang ni pun sama. Yang ni 0 plus 2X kan. So, you akan dapat 2X. Okay. And then kat soalan dia bagi dah kat sini. At equilibrium. So, at equilibrium eh. The iodine concentration, this iodine had dropped to this uh, concentration. Maksudnya at equilibrium. So you kena tahu eh kat mana you nak isi. At equilibrium meaning that dia nak dekat sini. Equilibrium. Not at initial, not at change. At equilibrium. And apa yang kita tengok eh dekat mana? Iodine. Ha, this one. Okay. So iodine maksudnya dia kata 0.1 mol per liter value dia. Eh sorry sorry. 0.02. So 0.1 mol per liter minus X. Ha, sorry. Ni yang mana? Yang ini. Okay. Boleh nampak eh. This one is equals to 0 0.02. So you boleh solve for X. So once you dah solve for X. Apa benda soalan tanya tadi. Determine the KC for this reaction. Dia nak KC eh. Nak KC ni kan. KC ni basically. Okay. Saya tunjuk kat sini lah. Kan you dah buat HI square product of reactor ni lah kan. Dia sama juga dengan you letak dia as. In terms of X, meaning that dia adalah 2X. Remember, this is 2X. This is product kan? Ni product kan? 2X. Ini adalah HI concentration. Ingat eh. Ada kuasa 2 kat sini eh. Ha, kat sini student selalu ada terlepas. Kuasa 2 over 0.1 minus X. 0.1 minus X. Yang ni. Ha, nampak? So basically apa yang you nak cari is this one lah. Dia nak KC kan. So okay. So you dah dapat value for X. Okay X you boleh masukkan. So you boleh dapat value for iodine. So iodine uh, sama dengan hydrogen kan. So that's why value dia sama. And then for HI dia 2 X. So darab 2 lah. Dapat lah. So dapat you substitute lah value. All this value you substitute kan dekat dalam KC. Dapatlah value of KC 64. Okay. So clear eh. So now. Ada soalan tak? Yang tu kita dah saya dah explain kan uh, last week. So now kita move forward uh, to another example. Tadi soalan tanya KC. How about this one? Soalan tanya suruh you calculate equilibrium concentration. But uh, given initial concentration and KC. Okay. Field engineers use the extent of the change from CO and H2O, okay, to CO2 and H2 to regulate the proportion of synthetic fuel mixtures. If 0.25 mol of CO and 0.25 mol of H2O are placed in a flask, okay, saya so lukis lah eh. Let's say this is a flask. Ni kacau pula ni. So this is the flask. Mm, 125 ml eh. Hundred twenty five Allah. Okay, peratus dua puluh lima ml. Patut dia place apa tadi? CO and H two.
initial Allah. Initial. Calculate the composition of the equilibrium mixture. Equilibrium mixture. Maksudnya dia nak constant composition, uh, concentration at equilibrium eh. KC at the equilibrium. Ha, nampak tak? Kat sini given KC tau. Sebelum ni kita cari KC. Now given KC. Tapi kita, ha, yelah, you need to calculate at equilibrium pula. Okay, so in this case, again, uh, you have to construct I stable lah. I stable, you put, just put I, C, E pun kita faham lah. Okay, I, C, E, I. Okay, atas dia you buat equation dulu. Okay, and then, okay, first thing first sebab soalan bagi dah bentuk mole kan. Sama macam tadi lah. Bila dia bagi mole, make sure, ni mole eh. Make sure kena dapatkan concentration. Sebab KC ni apa? Concentration kan. So bahagi volume. Kan? That's why kat sini bahagi volume dapatlah concentration. For both. Kebetulan sama kan? So that's why at initial CO and H2O is 2 eh. 2 molar. Ah, Jangan buat 0.25 pula. Salah eh. Itu mol. Kita nak concentration. Lepas tu CO2 initially tak ada. So that's why you put as zero lah. Ah, you jangan put dash pula. Letak zero. So that we know that zero plus X. Okay. And then QC. For change kan kita nak tahu negative tu letak dekat betul ke kat return. Okay. Kalau ikut lah. Sebenarnya kalau you dah get familiar with this kind of question. Anything yang kalau product tu belum ada. Of course dia akan forward direction. Forward action because product tak ada. Logiknya kan product tak ada you nak masukkan eh, uh, reaction tu dan you nak naikkan you punya product. So of course dia akan moving for, towards product. Betul tak? Okay. So tapi you boleh kira lah basically QC is equals to zero. Sebab bila QC equals to zero kan QC is equals to product over return. Product you memang kosong. So you bahagi dua kuasa dua. Hmm. Kosong lah. Betul tak? So that's why bila QC kosong, that's why dia akan proceed to the right. Proceed to the right means that for change, you akan dapat negative X dekat this one and this one. Dekat return. Dan product you akan jadi positive X. Okay. Lepas tu at equilibrium, dia tadi ICE ya. Eh. So at equilibrium, so this is 2 minus X at uh, for CO sama juga untuk H2O and then for CO2 H2 dia adalah X. Okay, now expression you product over return kan. Now it is also equals to at this part, right? Equilibrium. So x square x darab x over 2 minus x darab 2 minus x. Okay. So nak senang yang ni kalau you tengok sebab dia repetition. Sama. You simplify kan dia jadi x square over 2 minus x square. Okay. So now, KC dia bagi dalam soalan dah kan? Value is 1.56. Okay. So, the value of 1.56 ni basically, yang ni kan sama dengan 1.56. Okay. So, nak simplifikan sebab kita simplifikan ni sebab kalau boleh kita nak elakkan pengiraan yang susah. Okay. Bila ada kuasa dua ni kan jadi calculation you jadi complicated. So, kita simplifikan, kita square rootkan semua. Okay. Yang ni tadi equals to 1.56. So ish. kita square root kan semua ni. Okay. That's why you akan dapat macam ni. Nampak tak? So end up dia akan jadi macam ni. Is equals to this one lah. So this one is equals to this one. Okay. Normally we will put uh, we will take the positive value kan. So you solve for x 1.11 1 molar. So when you have solve for x uh, yang ni lah. Ni adalah X kan. So at equilibrium kita dah tahu dah berapa value untuk CO2 and H2. Sebab dia X je kan. 1.11. And then for CO and H2O is 2 minus X. So you tolakkan dengan 2. So dapatlah jawapan. Sebab dia nak semua kan. Calculate the composition of the equilibrium mixture. Maksudnya dia nak untuk ni, untuk ni, untuk ni dengan untuk ni. Untuk empat, empat tu. Kena dapatkan lah. Composition meaning that dia nak concentration at equilibrium. Okay? Boleh clear? Miss. Yeah. Um, change change in concentration tu kan basically is uh, 
Kan change in concentration kan biasanya fin, uh, concentration, final concentration tolak initial concentration right? Mm -hmm. So change in concentration tu basically equilibrium concentration tolak dengan initial concentration dia. Dalam kes ni uh, initial with change boleh nak cakap eh? Change in concentration, ah uh, betul lah betul lah perubahan yes. Okay. Uh, cuma cuma yang penting kita nak faham Kita nak reach the equilibrium daripada initial Berapa banyak dia berubah untuk dapat uh, Betul lah sebenarnya betul lah apa yang awak cakap tu Perubahan lah uh, Okay Cuma in this case uh, Betul In this case kalau kita nak senang Nak senang faham Because kita buat one by one Okay Kita tak tengok uh, ayat Before this memang kita tengok ayat kan Macam you belajar uh, Dia berubah sebanyak 20% uh, So you kena kira lah 20% daripada yang asal berapa kan uh, In this case sebab kita terus je tengok For the whole equation So kita tahu uh, the whole equation tu Dia Berubah ke arah rectan atau berubah ke arah produk So kat situ automatically you just put as x So kalau let's say coefficient dia dua You just put as 2x ha, Macam tu Tapi untuk in terms of negative positive ah Yang itu you kena tengok based on q ha, Dia dia ada lah uh, Dia macam pemahaman tu betul Tapi dia ada extra step where Nak dapatkan Change tu dia mesti sebab you kena ingat benda ni dia berlaku serentak Satu pergi ke depan, satu pergi ke belakang Okay that's why you tak boleh simply kata uh, perubahan Dia betul lah perubahan tapi tak boleh simply kata pro, uh, produk tolak rectum macam tu je Sebab now dia re reversible So bila reversible that's why in, uh, Q Cara kira dia adalah menggunakan Q lah QC product over rectum eh Okay, so uh, boleh eh tadi eh. Okay, so now kita proceed pula. Kalau you perasan tadi eh, saya patah balik kat sini. Kalau you perasan, saya simplify kan ni, saya buat square root kan betul tak? Saya kumpulkan dia, saya square root kan dia punya kuasa dua ni kan. So saya square root kan juga KC. So nak senang. Kenapa nak senang? Sebab kalau tak you akan complicated nak solve for X betul tak? You end up you akan jadi, jadikan dia as quadratic equation. Okay, normally kita akan cuba elakkan untuk calculate uh, menggunakan quadratic equation Okay, because uh, that was very um, complicated Dulu, kalau sekarang maybe because you ada calculator Dulu memang kita kira manually kan Bila kita kira manually, zaman saya pakai buku sifir, bagai semua tu So you akan kira manually this one x square bx plus c, right? Okay, so kalau calculator now you just masukkan value dan dia akan keluar jawapan Okay, cuma kita nak make sure Nak simplifykan yang let's say sometimes you boleh just congak ke kat situ So that's why akan ada juga uh, Kita panggil simplifying assumption Okay, apa maksud dia? Maksudnya uh, kita assume uh, Kita boleh neglect value of x Kat sini We assume that x Can be neglected Can be neglected ni bukan maksud setiap X tu you boleh neglect Okay Ada juga syarat-syarat dia When the KC is relatively small Maksud dia kat sini Saya boleh kata sangat-sangat kecil lah Relatively small tu Saya kalau saya lah You nampak dia negative 20 tu dah kecil lah tu 10 kuasa negative 20 ah, Dia dah kecil lah sangat Okay Or the Concentration initial is relatively large Kita susah sebenarnya nak dapat concentration sangat-sangat tinggi Setinggi mana? Kalau tinggi sangat tu macam mana kita nak handle chemical tu kan Bila dia sangat pekat Okay susah lah kita nak jumpa this one And then for second part okay I'm not really sure on this part Okay tapi saya sebenarnya dah discuss dengan penyedia penyedia nota ni uh, Dia kata nak selamat actually just remove this one Relatively large maksudnya sangat-sangat besar Logik lah juga bila sangat-sangat besar you boleh abaikan Tapi kalau dia akan jadi contradict bila you nak calculate this one Bila KC sangat-sangat besar value kat sini akan jadi sangat-sangat kecil Bila sangat-sangat kecil dia dah tak boleh neglect Tapi sebenarnya dia boleh neglect So that's why dalam nota you I think I prefer to cancel this part lah Okay kalau you ada nota tu eh, okay, I prefer to cancel this part When KC is very very small tu okay lagi lah, okay 
Memang initially ada point yang ini je Okay, lepas tu macam mana kita nak tahu betul-betul yang dia boleh neglect kan uh, Dia kata sangat-sangat kecil tu sekecil mana Okay, that's why ada method dia Okay, we have two methods can be used bila kita nak neglect X Okay, first if concentration initial Where is the initial? When you look at the uh, apa ni the bagi dia bagi ice table ah uh, this is the initial concentration 2 2 molar for example eh so 2 molar over kc kc value of kc lah so you masukkan let's say 1.56 ke macam tu the value must be more than 100 mesti lebih 100 kalau kurang you cannot neglect x okay ataupun Satu lagi method, the value of X yang you kira, for example Contoh, you dah kira dah ni Satu per satu satu, okay Lepas tu you masukkan, you bahagi dengan Concentration initial Macam tadi dua kan, okay bagi dua Dalam seratus, seratus is hundred percent lah basically So value tu mesti less than five percent Five percent here means error Dia tak boleh error tu lebih daripada 5%. Kalau lebih maksudnya you tak boleh abaikan X. You kena kira lah setiap satu X tu. Okay. Lepas tu apa maksud abaikan ni kan? Okay. Abaikan ni bermaksud kalau you tengok contoh kat sini. Maksud abai ni. <laughs> Jangan you abaikan. Okay ni X, X, X. Okay abaikan, 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 abaikan. Habis tu nak cari apa? Tu tak? <laughs> ah. Abaikan tu bukan maksud abaikan semua. Abaikan tu adalah abaikan tolak X atau tambah X sahaja. Yang ni tak boleh lah. Abaikan ni habis tu macam mana? Cari X kan? Sebab kita nak senangkan kira. Okay? Tolak X atau sometimes you akan dapat tambah X. Ah, tu boleh abaikan. Dengan syarat tadi, if method you follow antara dua ni. Okay, method yang bawah ni paling jarang orang guna sebab you kena dapatkan X dulu Baru you dah tengok less than 5% ke tak Kalau yang ni, you boleh kira lah But sometimes you cannot kira, you cannot calculate uh, for the first method because tak ada KC sometimes uh, That's why you have to try and error buat yang bawah Buat yang bawah mean, means that you abaikan X, you try kira betul tak dia less Kalau dia less then okay lah, kalau dia more than 5% then you tak boleh abaikan. Dia akan jadi terbalik lah. Cannot be neglected kalau initial over KC less than 100 ataupun you punya error is more than 5%. Okay. I need simplifying assumption. Okay. Kita tengok contoh kat sini. Apa maksud simplifying assumption tadi? Okay. Uh, okay. Let's say lah kat sini ada equation. Lepas tu ada KC value. Dan dia kata calculate lah. Uh, dia nak ni, dia nak ni, dia nak ni At equilibrium, okay When the following amount of phosgene This one, uh, decompose And then dia ada dua condition, A and B eh Mole yang berbeza, okay Again, using the ice table Okay, of course Sebab dia mole kan, saya patah balik eh Soalan, dia mole So of course you kena cari Concentration dulu, okay Ni volume dia eh So untuk A dulu eh so dapatkan dulu concentration. So this is the concentration 0 0.5 mol, 5 molar. Okay, lepas tu you buat like equation. Okay, this is 0 0.5. Initially product tak ada. So bila product tak ada, kita boleh conclude that this is the forward fraction. Ataupun you boleh lah kira. QC you kira akan dapat equals to zero. So that's why the reaction will proceed to the right. So bila dia proceed to the right, at change akan jadi negative on the left side. Okay, on the right side akan jadi positif. And then you write for E, equilibrium. So this is 0 0.5 minus X. So this is 0 plus X. This is 0 plus X. And then kita buat KC expression product over rectangle. This also equals to X, X darab X over 0 0.5 minus X here. Okay, so given the KC value. So now, Kini contoh kita nak tunjuk adakah kita boleh abaikan X. Can we neglect the value of X here? Can we neglect? Ah uh, Inilah kita guna method yang pertama contoh kat sini. Kita guna method ni. Initial concentration over KC must be more than 100. Initial concentration 0 0.5 over KC. 
8.3 times 10 to the power of negative 4. Berapa? Dapat 600. So of course this is more than 100. So kalau more than 100 tadi, dia kata kat sini X can be neglected. Boleh diabaikan. Okay, so masa kat sini boleh diabaikan meaning that here 0 0.5 minus x is equals to 0 0.5. Meaning that we neglect this value. Nak senang kira kan? Ha, so that's why you akan dapat equation macam ni. Daripada yang asal, ini asal. This is the original equation. You neglect the x, you akan dapat x tetap ada. Multiply with x over 0 0.5 saja. Okay. So in this case tak perlulah sampai you nak buat quadratic kan. So that's why you akan dapat x square ni you dapat x. Ha, lepas tu dapatlah masuk je lah macam biasa. Untuk dapatkan to get the concentration at equilibrium. For uh, three lah. For three this one eh. Three substances yang ada kat sini. Okay. Boleh eh. Okay. Ni untuk A. B pula mol dia is 0 0.1. If you divide by 10 liter, okay, this is the concentration, okay, 0 0.01. Again, sini 0, 0, of course, QC dia 0, so dia akan proceed to the right. So that's why change will become negative X on the left side and then positive X on the right side. Okay, you tulis balik macam sama lah dekat uh, equilibrium eh, sama je. And then this is the KC expression. So KC, yang beza dia kat sini, 0 0.01, right? Okay, now can we neglect the X? Boleh tak neglect? So if you calculate again tadi initial concentration over Kc. Initial 0 0.01 over 8.3 times 10 to the power of negative 4. So dia akan dapat 12 sahaja. 12. So 12 is less than 100. Less eh kurang. So you tengok kat sini. Less. So you cannot neglect X. Okay. So mana lah. Okay, so that's why the, the denominator 0 0.1 minus 0 0.01 minus x cannot be equals to 0 0.01. Tak boleh. Kalau tak boleh habis tu, uh, soft lah macam biasa. Soft macam biasa, that's why you akan use the quadratic equation to get ax square plus bx minus c. Okay, picit-picit calculator, dapat dua jawapan. Dapat dua jawapan. Which answer that should we choose? Ada dua ni. We will choose the positive value. Why? Ada siapa boleh jawab? Kenapa kita kita pilih positif dalam kes ni? Can someone? Ada tak siapa-siapa nak jawab? Sebab concentration. Sebab dia concentration. Concentration tak boleh negatif eh? Lagi? Sebab to the right. Shift to the right. Okay. Uh, Dua-dua tu sebenarnya betul. Okay. Cuba mungkin nak bagi lagi jelas sebab sometimes bukan sometimes saya rasa saya pernah lah. Saya pernah discover bukan saya student dah sebenarnya. Dia ada discover satu. Bila dia buat koratik dia dapat dua-dua positif tau. Habis tu dah pilih nak mana pula. Kan? Allah kenapa dia bergerak sendiri. Bila dia dua-dua positif ha, macam mana pula. Dia sebenarnya macam ni. Value of X. Remember X tu apa? Change. So you akan masukkan balik X tu dekat mana? Dekat sini kan? Tahu tak? Dekat sini lah basically. So remember initial concentration dengan equilibrium value tak boleh sama betul tak? Sebab benda tu berubah, bergerak kan? Okay kalau saya buat graph lah initial maknanya dia akan menurun. Dia nak reach equilibrium. Dalam masa sama dekat produk ni daripada kosong dia akan menaik nak reach equilibrium kan? So 0 0.01 minus x ni dia akan menurun kan menurun. So of course lah at equilibrium adakah dia akan sama dengan 0.01? Tak lah kan. Adakah dia akan lebih besar daripada 0.01? You dah tolak tiba-tiba dia lagi besar. Just tak logik. So that's why you akan ambil positive value. Kalau you ambil negative value maksudnya you akan kira apa? 0 0.01 minus minus 3.33 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Minus minus jadi positif. Betul? That's why you akan dapat lebih besar. That's why lah kita tak ambil negatif. <coughs> Okay, you boleh double check. Benda yang sama kalau you nak try tengok kat sini, X sama je. Kalau you letak kat sini negatif 3.33, 3.33, 3.33, 3.33, 3.33, 3.33, 3.33, 3.33, 3.33, 3.33, 3.33, 3.33, 3.33, 3.33, 3.33, 3.33, 
original kosong. Takkanlah at equilibrium dia akan makin kurang. Sebab dia positif. Patutnya makin bertambah. Hmm. Okay. So clear eh. So tak kisah maksudnya kalau let's say lah you terdiscover value of x both positive value. Okay. <coughs> Supposedly akan ada salah satu lah. Okay. Dia tak boleh macam dua-dua lah. Rasa kat situ ada salah lah kalau ada ada dua jawapan eh. <coughs> okay clear eh. So maksudnya the rest tu you just proceed lah. Okay once you dah choose the x so you akan proceed untuk dapatkan value at equilibrium. Okay cuba untuk tu, contoh ni sebenarnya kita nak lebih nak tunjuk time bila yang you boleh buat simplifying assumption or not. Okay. Okay saya ada satu lah nak bagi tahu student banyak kali tanya maybe sekarang you all tak ada rasa nak tanya sebab belum buat lagi. Kalau susah-susah kan -susah, eh, boleh tak miss? Macam macam pening je buat assumption ni boleh tak kalau saya nak buat je semua kuadratik. Ni kuadratik je. Saya kuadratik kan dia. Saya tak buat assumption pun. Sebab assumption nanti end up saya kena hafal pula formula lagi. Ha macam ni. Depan dia boleh. Basically saya boleh cakap macam ni lah eh. Nama pun assumption. Nama pun assumption. Kalau you buat kuadratik jawapan you lebih tepat. Lebih tepat. Kalau you buat kuadratik. Maksudnya you kira you tak abaikan X tu. You kira betul-betul. Uh, maknanya 0.00 berapa X tu pun you kira juga. Of course lah. It's more accurate. Okay, cuma, cuma tu, kita boleh cakap cuma tu, bila you go for quadratic akan ada banyak careless mistakes yang student selalu buat. Okay, careless mistake ni, ni even you dah guna calculator pun uh, akan ada je careless, uh, tertinggal negatif lah, tertinggal sepuluh kuasa berapa, tertinggal tu, tertinggal ni. Ha, salah jawapan. Nah, kita cerita tak cerita sebenarnya kita nak cerita bukanlah uh, mistake calculator Kita nak cerita yang dulu-dulu tu you nak kena kira manually tau AX square BX negative C kan Dah dapatkan X tu berapa value dia Nah, So kita simplify kan lah macam ni okay Sekarang buka apa? 441 okay Cuba kita tengok another examples Calculate equilibrium concentration given initial concentration and KC for reverse reaction. Oh, okay. For reverse reaction. Okay. Contohlah. In this experiment, dia kata one mole of CH4, one mole of CS2, two mole of H2S, two mole of hydrogen are mixed in vessel. Ah, nampak tak apa beza dengan contoh sebelum ni? This example shows that in the vessel, dalam satu bekas tu, you mix all together CH4, H2S, CS2 and also hydrogen. Remember, previous, previous punya uh, example, previous examples, okay, you do not have any values for re uh, re for products. And now, initially, the products also uh, dah ada dekat dalam tu. Nampak tak kat situ? So clear eh? So you cannot simply assume that this is the forward reaction because the products are already not zero. Kalau zero memang you boleh kata okay ni forward reaction. Okay ni negative x, ni negative x, ni positive x. Ah tak boleh. Because ada value. So that's why soalan pertama dia dah tanya. In which direction will the reaction proceed to reach equilibrium? Okay dapat soalan macam ni. Macam nak buat? Of course, QC is very important. QC. Nak tengok direction tadi. Okay, of course lah. Dia bagi mole kan. Dia bagi mole semua. Dia nak suruh awak kira banyak sikit. Okay, bagi mole, bagi volume. Kira dulu dapatkan concentration eh. Okay, dapatlah. Dah kira ni. Concentration dapat. Okay. Kira Q dulu. Dah ada kan? Ada concentration semua ni. Okay, you dapatkan the value at initial kan? 4, 8, 4, 8. Q product, kita tetap kira macam biasa. Product belah kanan, reaktor belah kiri. Product over reaktor. So, you kira lah. Kira bagi dapat 64. Now, ada KC kan? 0.036. So, QC is 64. So, you if you look at this, the value of QC here is more or higher than KC. 64. So kalau higher, higher tadi amount of product lagi banyak daripada amount of reactant kan. So that's why dia akan 
shift to the left terbalik dalam case kat sini shift to the left bila shift to the left what will happen to the change change dekat return akan jadi positif value h2s pun akan jadi positif dekat product akan jadi negatif so i hope you still remember lah this one eh kalau koefisien dia dua it must have 2x ni memang satu lah kan so h2 negatif 4x okay So you jangan pada menit, equation tetap sama, belah kiri awak image saya tak nak terbalik-terbalik kan lah. Awak ingat satu je, rector tetap always on the left side, uh, product always on the right side. It just that on the change tu yang you ubah, negative positive tu kat situ eh. Okay, so that's why dekat equilibrium pun akan berubah lah. Ni 4 plus x, ni plus, so ni yang belah kanan akan jadi minus. And then, okay tadi dia tanya direction, shift to the left lah okay shift to the left or uh, uh, reverse reaction or shift to the reactant uh, yang penting kita faham maksud dia dia ke kiri okay dia dah jawab soalan A and then soalan B if CH4 is 5.56 at equilibrium concentration dia determine the equilibrium concentration of other substances so where is CH4 okay here CH4 equals to 5.56 ah yang lain tu ya i think you proceed je lah 4 plus x you dapat ni so x you akan dapat value lah okay and then after that you can solve lah for other substances okay ah nampak tak ah inilah dia baru keluar kat sini ni yang maksud saya q sangat sangat penting okay q ni yang menunjukkan yang positif negatif awak tu nak berada kat mana okay kalau you tak buat q Uh, rezeki awak lah kalau memang dia always shift to the right Itu rezeki Memang all, selalunya memang akan shift to the right But in this case, at certain case dia akan jadi macam ni Sometimes soalan saya nak, saya nak uji kan Nak uji awak uh, tiba-tiba punya shift to the left So that's why value of Q is very important Sebab kalau yang you buat X di sini You buat ni negative 2X Of course jawapan semua salah Larilah kan tu tak jadi terbalik Okay boleh eh clear eh Cuba jawab checkpoint ni. 13. Bergerak sendiri pula. 13. Oh tak sempat lah suruh buat semua. Tak apa buat 13 dulu. <coughs> Okay dah ke? Okay kalau tak sempat tu tak takpelah boleh sambil tengok ni. 
Okay. <coughs> uh, sebab tak kita sebab pula eh. So dia kata kat sini, okay let's say uh, we have this equation CO gas plus H2O gas and then product dia CO2 plus H2 the given KC and dia kata 0.1 mole of CO and 0.1 mole of H2O okay both have similar mole mole place in one litre vessel okay Allah alamak alamak apa ni Mana saya nak stop ni? Okay. Okay. Lepas tu dia kata, calculate the concentration of the reactants and product when the system reach equilibrium. Maksudnya dia nak kat sini. So you have to remember even though initially you only uh, place CO and H2O but when you reach equilibrium, they akan produce product. Right? Okay, this product. So of course uh, reach equilibrium akan ada empat jawapan yang you kena dapatkan. CO, H2O, CO2 and also hydrogen. Okay? So okay, this is a KC expression eh. Product over right turn. Okay, again as uh, as uh, usual just put as ICE pun tak apa okay so you have calculate 0.1 basically you have to calculate lah ni kebetulan dia 0.1 mole over 1 liter that's why it's equal to 0.1 mole per liter lepas tu sama pula kan okay that's why dia 0.1 eh okay you have to show lah actually this one eh okay and then in this case initially no CO2, no hydrogen. That's why for the change you will get negative X for CO, negative X for H2O while CO2 and H2 you will get positive X. Okay then you proceed to equilibrium. You just uh, tulis balik lah. Okay uh, 0.1 minus X untuk both CO and H2O and X for both CO2 and also H2. Okay so Dia nak concentration equilibrium kan? So we just put eh, x, x, x darah x over 0 0.1 minus x, 0 0.1 minus x. Again sebab dia macam repetition kat sini, you nak simplifikan tanpa guna quadratic. You just square kan dia. Okay, bila you square kan dia, yang ini you nak simplifikan then later you square root ke semua. Termasuk dengan value of kc. So bila you dah square root kan, you akan dapat macam ni lah is equals to 2.01 then you can solve for x okay so dapat x kita nak dapatkan concentration lah untuk semua kan so CO and also H2O value dia sama for CO2 just uh, similar to the value of x lah okay so basically kita stop sampai sini lah ni jumpa jawapan kan tapi actually ni sajalah nak tunjuk to check okay uh, when you calculate QC, remember QC tu kan kita nak tengok um, direction kan sama ada dia shift to the left, shift to the right ataupun dia memang already at equilibrium. Okay just to calculate the value yang you dah kira tadi product over return, okay product over return kan you kira you dapat 4.1. You check balik value of KC tadi berapa? 4.06. So of course lah Lebih kurang lah kan 4.1 based on apa yang you kira lah. This, this one is just to double check lah. Untuk menunjukkan that your calculations are correct. Okay? Boleh eh? Clear? Any questions so far? Dah habis masa dah? Ada soalan tak? So far okay eh? Okay, kalau tak ada yang cakap apa-apa, I assume lah okay eh. Lagi pun kita dah habis masa. So I hope uh, masih kalau masih segar dalam ingatan ni, you can try do the checkpoint 14, 15, 16 sampai berapa eh. Sampai habis yang kita ada checkpoint ni. Setakat yang you boleh buat lah. Okay. And we will discuss uh, this uh, again tomorrow. Okay. Okay, kita akan continue lah tomorrow and until uh, 2 point Five. Oh, maknanya kita kena habiskan juga ke satu topik ni? Sepat ke? Okay, tak apalah kita try je lah. Okay? Tak ada soalan eh? Kalau tak ada, I think we can end our session today with uh, Tasbih Kafarah and Suratul Asr.